Hi, this is Joe English with EM All Access, and we're at EMS 2015 in San Francisco. Today I talked with Christine No of Mountain Dew about how they're using virtual reality to supercharge their events. Let's listen in. Christine, welcome. Hi. Yeah, you made it in okay? I did. Yeah, we're in San Francisco, <laughs> yes. for, for those that might not know. <laughs> you work with, on Mountain Dew. Yes. Um, a soft drink brand that is embracing technology. That, that is one way, but we are obsessed yeah. with technology. You're obsessed with technology, even <laughs> yes. better. What, what, first, what technology are you doing? And um, I've heard that you're using virtual reality, so maybe tell us what, the, what you're doing here. Yeah, yeah. so um, we are very invested in virtual reality. Um, I think that a lot of marketers were interested in consumer engagement and still are. Yeah. And that's something that we feel really passionate about, but we actually want to take it one step further and explore consumer immersion. So one of the things that we always try to achieve as a brand is to bring our fans closer to things that they love. Yeah. And you know, that might be exclusive pieces of content, but like what's more um, immersive than putting our fans in the middle of an experience? So there's no better technology than virtual reality to achieve that. So, so what does the technology look like? Like if you're an experiencing it, mm -hmm. and, and just tell us what it, how it looks. Yeah. yeah. So as a consumer, what you could do is actually download the Samsung Gear VR app um, on your mobile phone. So if you're on Android um, and you have a Samsung, Samsung Note, you can actually download that app. Um, once you do, you can actually um, just watch any virtual reality content you want that's on the actual app. Um, so all you have to do is have the phone and also the headset, um, and you can just sit on your couch and watch our vir virtual reality experiences. Yeah, and then you're also using these at live events as well? Yes, lots yeah. of live events. We actually um, debuted our first virtual reality experience, which is actually focused on skateboarding and mm -hmm. featured Paul Rodriguez and Sean Malto. Um, we actually debuted that at Dew Tour in Brooklyn okay. um, in October, and then we debuted another snowboarding experience actually um, at the U.S. Open, the U.S. Burton Open um, in February. So that's always where we bring it first. Um, our fans love to experience it, and I think that, you know, right now not everyone has a VR headset at home, and so we try to bring it everywhere we go. Yeah, for, for those that don't know what a VR headset is, could mm -hmm. you just kind of tell them what it would what, it, what the experience feels like to use it. Yeah, so it's actually a headset, mm -hmm. like goggles, yeah, goggles that you put on your face. Um, it's really cool looking. Um, and it allows you to view content, not just in a box like you would on YouTube typically. You're actually viewing it all around and you can kind of like control your experience like it's real life. Mm -hmm. So it's a very exciting technology. So what would you be seeing? if, it, Let's say we're at the um, skateboarding. Yeah. Competition. What, what does somebody see when they put the headset on? Yeah. So um, I guess I can give you the example of the skateboarding experience we actually did. Yeah. So you're actually riding in iconic areas of Las Vegas mm -hmm. with some of your favorite skateboarders. So you are on a skateboard and you turn to the side and you see Paul Rodriguez. You turn to the other side and you see Sean Malto. Um, and you actually see the strip. Um, you see Fremont Street, so that's really, really exciting. Really fun. Mm -hmm. yeah. What are people saying about it? People love it. Yeah. Um, we actually, you know, every time we've actually um, brought it to an event, there have been lines that have been, you know, a couple hours long. Yeah. Um, we've done some fun things where we'll have, um, you know, our fans put on the headsets and experience um, the content, and then as soon as they take it off, they'll see their favorite skateboarder or snowboarder, and it's been really fun to surprise people that way. Yeah, and are they sharing the, their experiences? How yeah. Do you, yeah, what we've actually done was um, we have recorded people um, using our experience and then also juxtaposed it with um, what they're seeing on screen, mm -hmm. and so we'll email that to them immediately okay. after they finish the experience so they can share the, share the experience with their friends. Oh, that's really cool. Mm -hmm. So technology like this, new technology, um, how do you know when it's ready to try something like this? That's a really good question. I definitely think that we are still in the early stages of virtual reality, but the fact that you can buy the hardware for you know, not a horrible, it's a very affordable price right now. Um, I think that consumers are just starting to be ready. I definitely think it's still an early adopter technology, um, but the fact that there are great partners like Samsung and um, the f folks at Oculus that are trying to scale this at home, I think consumers are starting to be ready. Yeah, and if, for, for our people watching this show that are event producers, what kind of tips would you give them if they wanted to wade into this uh, this new technology area? Yeah, so I think that if you're going to create a virtual reality experience, make sure that you're actually bringing people into something that they couldn't do on their own. You know, we. Um, 
you know, brought our fans to iconic areas of Vegas to go skateboarding. We brought them to the back country of Utah to go snowboarding um, with Olympians. That's something that people can't experience every single day, and so I think that's why people are so excited to, you know, travel to events um, and wait in line to experience this. Yeah. Well, they say don't interrupt people's experience, actually be what people are interested in, right? And, and here I think you tied it really all together. Yes. Yeah. Well, that's cool. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> yeah. Well, thanks. It's great to talk to you, great. and congratulations on a great program. Thank you. Thank you.